No Man's Sky is an impressively vast game, but it's not always great at describing what exactly you need to do. Here are 13 things No Man's Sky doesn't explain too well. You probably know that you can name and identify new life forms and planets as you find them, but did you know that you can also get paid for it too? In the options menu, report discoveries to the galactic knowledge base for hundreds and sometimes even thousands of bonus units. You might randomly pick up a radio transmission during your travels. Follow these signals to find treasures. When you encounter an alien monolith on your travels, not only will they increase your popularity with its corresponding race, but you're also likely to receive a valuable reward if you can prove yourself worthy. Interact with the monolith and answer its questions. If you've learned enough words to understand what the monolith says, you can base your response on the on-screen prompt. If not, a good rule of thumb is that the more courageous your answer is, the more likely you are to receive a better reward. While your starter ship is a capable little vessel, you're going to eventually want something with a little bit more range and storage. There are two main methods for getting new ships. Either you can purchase new ones or salvage a wreck and restore it yourself. You'll need a lot of spare heridium, iron, zinc, and plutonium just to get the thing off the ground, but until you repair its warp systems, you're stuck in the planetary system that you're in. If you decide to buy a new ship, you'll at least need a few hundred thousand space bucks on hand. Then hang around a space station hangar or a settlement landing pad until the right ship stops by and you can make your offer to the pilot. Those asteroids in a planet's orbit exist for more reasons than to just get in your way. Asteroids also serve as dense element deposits. Blast them with your onboard weapons to harvest valuable metals and fuel sources. Always be on the lookout for signal scanners. These plentiful devices can be hacked to point the way to other landmarks and important upgrade sites. The scanners are highly visible from the air at night, which makes finding them considerably easier. If you can't figure out how to activate the signal scanners, you may need a bypass chip. These can be easily crafted in your inventory by combining 10 iron and 10 plutonium. You can find upgrades to your exosuit inventory by entering drop pods you find on the surface of planets. The first one's free, and the cost incrementally increases by 10,000 units with each one you find, but these upgrades are well worth it for you to track them down. You can search for them early on by hacking a signal scanner with bypass chips, then searching for shelters, which will more often than not point you to a drop pod. Watch out for coiled vine-like plants. They may be beautiful, but they also pack a deadly and sometimes poisonous punch. If you suffer a tragic demise on your adventures, a grave is generated at your point of death. You can return here to claim your lost gear. Your puny mining laser isn't much good on a tough steel surface, but grenades will do a handy job of reducing the steel doors outside manufacturing facilities to rubble. Dart in once the door goes down to avoid the sentinels and claim the materials inside. You can tag animals and plants for rewards, but you can also tag structures to set your own waypoints. Use your analysis visor and focus with your zoom to create temporary waypoints on most structures. Sentinels can be big jerks, but they also often drop some pretty useful stuff. Once you upgrade your weapons enough to take them down, pick a fight with them somewhere near your ship. When the smoke clears, grab what you can from the debris and flee into space if things get too hot. That should be enough to help you get started on your adventure across the universe. For everything else on No Man's Sky, stick around on IGN.